morning, guys. I'm Siobhan, a first year medical resident. I just got to the hospital, it's Sunday morning, and I'm starting a 24 hour call shift. You know, we found out there are no medical students on today because they finished the rotation yesterday. And I will tell you, oh, and so it begins. Okay, I'll chat with you guys later. Come along, it's gonna be 24 hours, gotta answer this page. Since it's the weekend, it's just me and my staff who are seeing all the patients on the team today. So we decided to walk around and see them all together. So it's just about 1 p.m. now. I just got handover, so now I've got to carrying two teams that I'm covering, so I've got handover from the other team. And um, you guys always talk about how positive I am and how much energy, and I'll tell you right now, I feel stressed, I feel overwhelmed. Um, I just was rounding with my staff for the last almost four hours. We've seen all the patients, but we haven't written any of the notes. So I've got to go back and write probably close to 23 notes this afternoon on patients. I know the plan. I know what we're doing, which is great, but it's going to take a while. So anyway, I'm feeling stressed, but I realize I haven't eaten. So first plan is to get food and then we'll talk about how you can kind of bounce back from feeling overwhelmed to being positive again. <music> So now I'm sitting down, got some food, and I was just thinking to myself, what do I do when I'm feeling like this? Like a little bit overwhelmed, tired. You know, my friend actually gave me an acronym. Um, it's called HALT, H-A-L-T, and it's actually used for people in recovery, and it's a way of trying to be more self-aware um, in a moment like this. So it's asking, are you hungry? Are you angry, lonely, or tired? And then those are often a trigger for why someone would be feeling a bit low or a little bit off compared to the normal. And so in this case, I'm definitely hungry and tired. So I've got myself some food. Rather than sort of powering on and seeing patients while I'm eating, um, I'm just gonna sit down, give myself 10 to 15 minutes, put my feet up, and just give myself a moment to recognize that I'm tired and hungry and fix that. Okay, I am feeling way better. Had some food, had some water, I'll have a tea break later. Um, so now it's about triaging the priority of seeing all these patients. So luckily everyone's been seen and a plan's been made and no one is unstable or sick. Um, so right now it's going to be a little bit um, more about who needs to go home first. So I'm going to see the two patients who have to get discharged home so I can get that ready and they don't go home too late. And then next I'm going to go by location. So seeing everyone on one ward, then moving to the next floor and seeing everyone there. And this is how we're gonna do it. Also, normally I stop vlogging when anyone walks by because it's a little bit embarrassing to be talking to your phone. But this time, I'm starting to get a little bit more bold, so I just kept talking when that guy walked by. Anyway, sorry, it's just a little bit funny to me. Okay, yeah, um, I just got off the phone. It sounds like there's a patient who's not uh, responding well and I've gotta get there right away. All right, so um, just uh, sent off some blood work, done an ECG, just, just done some basic um, workup for this patient. They're stable for now, their, their vitals are fine. I'm gonna be staying up here, writing my notes close by, and I'll be checking in on them as the blood work comes back and we can try to figure it out. What a busy day, guys. Okay. It's almost 6 p.m. To put that into context, I'm supposed to go downstairs and see new consults starting at 5 p.m. And I still have five notes to write, and that's because things come up during the day, nurses have been calling me, and I also got a new team that I'm covering too, so when they call about that, it takes me a little bit longer to assess the patients because I don't know them. So, anyway, last word to cover, and then I've got to head downstairs. It's 6.20 p.m. now. My senior medical residents downstairs are getting a whole bunch of consults in the emergency department, and those are new patients who came to the hospital who need to be, who need to be seen. So at this point, um, I can't kind of delay any longer. I've got to go downstairs, and my pager just keeps going off, and so I've got to answer that. Anyway, so um, 
gotta get going. Okay, down in the emergency department, found a little nook to work. Deep breaths. <laughs> we'll get through this together. Um, like, I'm being a little bit dramatic, I'm stressed, but I'm also hyped up and I feel like I'm working fast. So, I'm hoping in a couple of hours we can kind of get things on track, finish up those notes, and the rest of the night can be smooth sailing. That's the hope. <laughs> Wow, it has been non-stop. Seriously, it's not just when I'm filming that that painter's going off. I think it's gone off 45 times today. 45 times. That's an incredible number of pages. Anyway, it's kind of interesting. You really have to triage. You have to get your attention pulled from here to there and then still try to focus on what's important because everyone feels their, important, their issue is the most important. So you've got to kind of triage and figure out where to spend your time. It's interesting. So that patient who wasn't doing as well on the ward is now actively passing away and so I had a long conversation with the family and I think we're, we're really doing right by them and right by by the patient. I think it's especially tough because um, my grandmother recently passed away and so when you see the family members and you sort of put yourself in that situation and you just feel a lot of emotions but it just reminds me of what I wanted in that time and you try to be there for other people. It's 11 p.m. now, I've done one consult. Um, now I'm heading up to the ward because my consult is a patient who's leaving the ICU and coming up to the ward. Did I mention how much I miss medical students being here? Because even though medical students think, oh, I'm slower and all this, my gosh, you're getting consults done. It's one less consult for us to do. So it's like, we miss you guys. <laughs> Twelve twenty, and that second consult's done. I'm heading back down to the consult room, and I wonder if there's going to be a third consult waiting for me. What do you guys think? Ah, I bet there is. <laughs> it's just so quiet at night. It's kind of nice in the hospital like this. I gotta say, get a nice view, go for a walk, until you get back into the emergency department, and it's like ah, <laughs> everything's going on. So much is happening. I'm getting lazy. It's that time of night. Elevator time. <laughs> Going down. It's 5.20. The sun's actually rising. And uh, I've never had a day like this. I'm just writing my last two notes now. Craziness. <laughs> it's 6 a.m. I've seen all the patients and written all their notes and updated the list and now it's time to, uh, I don't know, get a little bit of sleep. Maybe I can get an hour in before the staff get here. Oh, why can't I get in? Oh, there we go. Phew. Oh no. Oh. Well, I guess the staff are coming in in like, 45 minutes, so I'm just gonna hang out in the resident lounge and maybe sleep on this chair for the next 40 minutes. Hopefully there's no more code blues, hopefully there are no more consults, hopefully no one pages again, and that'll just be that. Oh, okay, finally home. I think I'm already like half asleep right now. This was a crazy day. Sometimes it can be a battle to stay positive and on such a crazy day. So let me know, give me a thumbs up, comment below if you want me to do a video just dedicated completely to how to stay positive, how to kind of keep upbeat and enjoy yourself even on a crazy day because I can give you some more tips. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe, turn on that notification because it really helps me out. Anyway, bye for now and I will chat with you guys soon.